Look at all that data. Don't be overwhelmed though, it's all very straightforward, yet powerful information to have at your fingertips. So let's have a walkthrough. The eCal dashboard provides you with a tremendous overview of your account and how your sync to calendar service is performing. Let's begin with performance trends, working our way from left to right. This is the total number of people who have subscribed and synced their calendar. And this is the number of schedules you have live. You might have others that are in draft mode, but they won't show here. Within those schedules, you have your live events, which would be your weekly matches, ticket on sale dates, or targeted marketing entries. The opt-in marker is typically the percentage of subscribers that have agreed to receive further marketing communications from you, the publisher. See video three on customization for details on creating your opt-in messaging. Here we can see subscribers by location. Click the map to drill right down to city level to see where your subscribers are coming from. Here we can see all new subscriptions for the last 30 days. Popular locations by city and country is self-explanatory. And here you can see what type of calendars and devices people are using to subscribe with. In this case, Google Calendar and mobile phones are the most popular. Monthly actives. This is your estimated monthly users, but note if you haven't sent an invite in the last 30 days, then this metric will be understated. Event impressions. These are the number of events that have appeared in the calendar over the last 30 days. Clicks. These are the number of clicks on your links in the calendar over the last 30 days. Click-through rate, CTR. This is the number of clicks divided by the number of impressions. This is a visual representation of the information above, and you can interact with this graph to hide or show any of these metrics. And finally, popular links tells which in-calendar links people are clicking on. The data and analytics menu provides you with deeper analytics into your subscribers and their engagement with you. Want to view your subscriber data and add them to your CRM or data warehouse? Click subscriber data and choose to view subscribers from all schedules or any other specific schedules. Choose the date range you'd like and click Generate Preview to view a snapshot of the data. If you'd like to download this data as a CSV file, click the Generate Report button here. It's that simple. Would it help to receive your data straight to CRM on, say, a daily or weekly basis to fuel a more dynamic CRM framework? Great! Please inquire about our data delivery service. This will be perfect for you. Want to know more about your users, their activity and behavior around your events? then Power Data will be for you. Check out our add-on features video to learn more.